All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk to you about something that I've been uh, struggling with my swing. And to me, this is something major and I feel that uh, it could help a lot of people. Um, basically, uh, go straight to the point. Um, in my swing, I struggle a lot in um, opening the face. So kind of like manipulate the face as I take the swing back, as I go down. Over the years, I've been struggling with uh, an open claw face. And obviously, if you think about it, when you open the face, you have to kind of turn this way. So you gotta go a little bit over the top to kind of um, compensate for it. So this is what I mean. Uh, there's the face right there. So when I dress the ball, I, do, I take my grip. And basically, this is what I feel right here because what's been happening as I take the claw back, this being like sliding away. So now uh, I just feel that this is behind the club right here, maybe like behind this right here, and it's not gonna move. So as I take the club back, it's just going to like restrict the movement there. So it's just gonna stay there. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do this anymore. And this is what's been happening. And I think a lot of players, it happens to a lot of players where you have no pressure here. Uh, this, in my opinion, this thumb is quite important because if you lock it there, that's it. As you can see there, it's not gonna move. So a lot of people to compensate, they start their uh, golf swings like this, and then when they come back, they're gonna be like this. And But the problem is not the face, it's right here, it's because they're doing this. As they take the back swing, this is moving like this. So, And to me, that's not very good because then you, you're going to compensate your swing. So lately, what I've been doing, uh, man, this is really, really amazing because it's a huge change. So I take my normal grip, and then what I do is just, I lock it with this, with my left thumb. So basically once I feel pressure there, it's not gonna move. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna open the, the only way I can open the face is if I roll my forearm. So if you do that, then I will work on that first. But if you don't roll your forearms, uh, this will definitely lock the your swing into place. So no matter what I do, if I feel the pressure here, it's always gonna stay in the address position where I have it. So um, as I take the club back, I have to feel the pressure right there. So, and that kind of gets me to swing better because uh, if I feel that pressure there on my left thumb, then as I take my back swing, then I kind of have to go more towards the inside because if I don't, then uh, I either have to move my, my grip or I'm gonna come, I'm gonna get stuck. So if I don't feel pressure there then basically as i take my back swing my the face is it, gonna move around like this this is what's gonna happen and normally it's gonna tend to open so when it's open then i have to do this to compensate for it so okay so for instance i have this part three it's 131 yards i have my nine iron and here i know that uh, a lot of times what happens is when i miss shots i went like a little bit to the right and like 120 or sometimes i pulled it to avoid that, all you gotta do is lock it. For me, that's how it works. So I lock my, using my left thumb, and then I know that that's gonna be, the launch angle is gonna stay there, it's not gonna move. And I can either put more speed or less speed, so that's up to me. So I'll show you a shot. Okay. So this one, uh, just hit it normal and i didn't have to worry about losing it to the right i actually went a little farther it went like 142 with my nine iron 137 so but i, I did not worry about uh losing it to the right or anything because i'm i lock my swing this is especially true like if you have something to the right like water where you cannot miss it there so what i do there i try to put a little more pressure on my um left thumb so just to lock it into place to know that i'm not going to be doing that so uh, let me hit another one nine iron okay so i barely hit that one that one i pulled it a little bit but let's look at the distance i mean i barely hit that one and i carry 125 okay then i can add more speed if i want to but I want to be sure that I'm putting the face like it's supposed to be. So I kind of, I kind of pulled that one a little bit. I'm probably because I'm used to having the face open and compensating to the right. So I'm going to try to release it a little bit more to the right. 
but keeping the same loft, the same launch angle. So pressure in my left arm. Okay, that one went way farther than before actually because I'm not changing anything. I'm not, I'm not uh, adding loft to the to my iron. So that one went 136. But anyways, what I'm saying is that I'm not. I'm using my nine iron like a nine iron. I'm not de-lofting it into a pitching wedge or a 52 because the way I played before, I was opening the face and I, no matter how much speed I put, it's not going to make it. Because if I start adding speed and I don't have the right, um, there we go. That one went almost to the hole, guys. Perfect. So the more speed I add, the, the straighter the shot for me. That carry 128 and the stop right at the hole. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with my driver. I'm going to lock it and then add all the speed I want. But as long as I have it locked into place, it's going to make me want to do that. And not do this because if it start, the face starts moving, Okay, so I felt my, the pressure in my left arm. I still fade the ball, but I felt a lot of control. I got a lot of roll. Not the, I mean, it's not the, I don't have a lot of swing speed, but I think I feel like once I gain confidence uh, in keeping the face like this, I think I can add speed at the end, you know, because like I said, there's no point of me adding a lot of speed if I don't have control in the face. So let me hit another one. I'm gonna try to, to keep it locked. And if it's locked, then I can add all the speed I want. Okay, I felt control. The face didn't move, I can tell you that. And that went straight. I mean, the face is not moving. I feel like it's locked into place right there. Locked into place. No matter what I do right here, if I feel the pressure on my, on my right, left thumb, it's locked. It's locked in the face. Face control, guys. That's, that's what it is. Okay, so another way to work with uh, face control, if you're working on that, uh, what I do is, is I grab a 30% uh, like golf ball, I grab this like shot I have it in a driver. If you have the irons, it's better. So the only way for this to, to have some uh, face control is to have some pressure in your finger. So I feel it on my left thumb. Again, for you, it could be different, but as long as I keep my left thumb there without moving in the grip, then it's going to keep the face square. So. I do a few of these exercises. Uh, with this one, normally you lose everything to the right. So all I'm doing here, I'm feeling the pressure on my left thumb. Okay, and that's pretty good for this club. I know it's a little bit to the right and it's, the trajectory is low, but trust me, if you ever try this club, it's gonna go like a big slice. So this is, it's not completely straight, but it's pretty good. So another one. Just keeping that the pressure on my left thumb. And with this one, for some reason, you feel it more. So I've been uh, practicing with this. And then when you go into your normal drive, you hit some, some really good drives. So again. Okay, that was great. That was great. You know, I'm not a coach or anything like that, but I feel like I wasted so much time in this, you know, because I've been working on swing speed, on lower body movement, and it's good, but it's only good if the face is in, a, in one position, you know, because if the face is open, then that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. If the face is closed like this because you're compensating, that's not gonna work either. So whatever, you're, whatever else you're doing, it's not gonna work. Even though it's, it's something good that you're doing, it's not gonna work because the face is gonna be all over the place. So once you uh, know that the face is always gonna be there, uh, find your own you can find your own mechanism obviously you do, your own feeling maybe for you uh, For any other golfer is another feeling, you know, maybe you feel it more in your right hand I don't, I'm not sure but for me it works on my left thumb with my left thumb I feel like I put a lock on the on the face and Even with one hand I can feel that that's that's not moving the face is it's always gonna come back to the same spot so Anyway, so that's just my opinion. Um, normally, I don't like giving advice on YouTube, but uh, I feel like this is something major. And I feel like, you know, a lot of people can, like me, you know, I've been dealing with this for a long, long time. So I think if someone is struggling with open face in their swing, this is definitely for you. So remember to, to put some kind of lock in your swing because you're not gonna, you're not gonna move forward. You're gonna be stuck there because, you know, it, it's not gonna matter what else you're doing because if you don't have control over the face, 
you're gonna get stuck so anyways guys i hope you liked the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching until next time